Welcome <coughs> again to Man of Steel Fan Gives Hope, the YouTube that it, channel that is solely concerned with its Facebook page. And what we'll be looking at today is some of the stuff that you can get. Uh, it's um, I've got to come up with a different beginning. Welcome to Man of Steel Fan Gives Hope. Uh, can I, I don't know. I'll, I'll think of something better next time. Anyway, well, what we came here to look at is the DC, I don't know if this is backwards, it looks backwards on my, my phone there. It's the DC Superheroes, the ultimate pop-up book. Okay, so if we... Take a look, I'll try and hold this. Uh, there we go. Mm. Um, oh, maybe let's try. I ah, know, let's try standing it up. That might be better. Right. What do you do? Whoa. So you've got, what do you have here? You've got uh, basically the, the story, Superman's powers, and stuff. Uh, and in these wee booklets, you'll have other wee bits. There is a uh, wee rocket ship there. Don't ask me to read what it says. Uh, it's all upside down to me. So that's in that wee bit. And uh, over here, a wee bit on his friends. Uh, of course, his enemies. And oh, there's uh, the death. So, we turn over to the second page. We have the Batman with the wee light going forward and again with extra 3Ds, you've got a bit on the 3Ds, listen to me, you've got a wee bit more of the pop-up down here with the back cave and the Batmobile. Uh, and over here, what's this one? A uh, man with a mission. The memory of his own parents' death. Yada yada. Uh, not interesting what it says, interesting what it can do. Inside, Cloud uh, Prince. Ah, this is difficult. Right. And then you've got. Batman, oh, I mean, this is a dining table, it's got lots of junk on it. Bat Robin, back there, oh, ah, ah, don't wreck it, live, live on Man of Steel, and it destroys his book. There we go, and then the next page, of course. We have the beautiful Amazon, and in my books will always be the UN ambassador. Okay, and the warrior goddess. That's a wee bit of them scary up the top. Uh, Gift of Olympians, and of course the invisible jet. Uh, Wonder Woman inside there. The making of Wonder Woman as the uh, Ares, God of War, as we say goodbye, what? Watch the lasso of truth. We go on to the Green Lanterns. Going up the top. Oh, hello, Mr. Flash. Uh, sometimes I forget what's in this. So 
or sometimes uh, or seem to somehow still get a surprise. Oh, uh -huh. there's uh, you see that? Okay, there's Aquaman there. Right in his horse. And uh, oh, there's a wee bit here. And there's his arm. And then as we turn over, we have Dark Side Apocalypse. Uh, underneath you've got the Shadow of Evil, uh, Bane, and uh, Riddler. Oh, Captain Boomerang, is that? Who's that? Is that? Yep, Captain Boomerang and stuff. Uh, Brainiac. And we can all guess this is going to be a wee bit of, oh no, it's uh, Black Manta there. Start a scene with a little rod in the front there. And you have uh, Corruption's Reach. Uh, you know, more of the... The enemy within. Yep, the the green Hal Jordan story when he went bad. Forgive me if I'm wrong. I'm still seeing this upside down. Then you've got the monitor. The monitor right there with a wee brief. Uh, uh, then you've got the uh, resistance. Everybody. All the villains there. Uh, I don't know the best way to stick that, is it? There you go. All of them there. Yeah. And then you've got oh. Star up. Uh, She's got to be my favourite. I won't tell you why. Uh, yeah, the Teen Titans. And of course, you've got the the numbers here. They tell you who all these characters are. And then you have ah, the JSA. Like that, they're all sitting at the table. That's so that is the, the DC superhero uh, album. Um, Trying to remember how much it cost. I know, uh, I don't know how much it is in dollars. Um, I know I've got it roughly for something like 30 pounds or something. Uh, I'm surprised it's not on the back of it. Uh, one side of thing, but I'm sure it was it was it was dear. I got it with vouchers and stuff. Now the other thing that's out in the market just now, and and it was agony for me to choose from because this particular collection, most of your UDC readers out there have already got the stories. Why did I want it? Well, there were some stories in this collection that I hadn't read, and I just wanted to join it. And that that is the collection again, as I say. Uh, this collection here, it's uh, Eagle Moss, uh, it's been out for a while now, uh, totally recommend it, I recommend getting it if you're just starting uh, your DC collection, uh, hopefully it's still available, don't quote me, but it's still going on, I'm still receiving books from it, uh, then you can go for the extra uh, pennies and, and buy the bigger stories. Uh, you get some sort of free gifts with it, and um, again, I'm not anything to do with Eagle Moss. I am all with the DC, not associated with it at all. I'm just showing you uh, what's out there and what I personally like. Um, otherwise, I've not really got much to talk about in these YouTube videos. I'm at number, um, 
What number is this? I don't know what number that is. Uh, and it done. What number of book is that? Uh, <laughs> Oh, there, there. Uh, volume 36 and 37, uh, which is that, I've already got that. Kevin Smith, you did a, a, a great job on that, on uh, Green Arrow. Okay, Don't get me started with Kevin Smith and Batman v Superman. Or, you know, I, I totally lost. Uh, and that Batman channel, it, it has, to me, it feels too much marvel oriented. Uh, I mean, I went to talk to the guy, but uh, I just found... I don't know. I don't know if he's changed or not. Anyway, and that, so that's um, so as I say, it goes together. Um, just at the the C bit, uh, which is which is just about there. So I've still got all that to go. So as I recommended, yes, of course I'd, I'd recommend it. I don't know if the the bookstands are going to hold it all, but uh, it's good to, you know, if you've got it in the house and you, you want to show people um, some good books, it, it does highlight some of your, you know, the best stories from DC and also at the back of the of each book, it, it, it gives you an older version, uh, um, another great past history book and it gives you some explanation inside of the, of the work behind it, you know, uh, the Brave and the Bold and uh, JFK gives you some sort of explanation why the story was created in the first place, who did it, uh, what came before, the same as this, the, the, sto the main story of the book tells you uh, how it came about and what happened before that comic. So, yeah, even though you've got some of the the books, it's still worthwhile having that collection, uh, especially if you're going to have that nice thing and to show your collection with all the, um, the artwork by Alex Ross. And uh, and we all know Alex Ross books. I mean, hello, they're, they're fantastic. Forget about the artwork alone, the storylines, top class. Well, I hope you've um, enjoyed this first DC... No, well, it's not... It's different from what we've done before. We've not... Um, but again, uh, as I say, I'm trying to work out a formula for this. This is done off the cuff. It's sometimes I feel like it or not feel like it. I spend most of the time on our page on Facebook, Man of Steel Fan Gives Hope, uh, where we try to give you the positive sides and we're always looking for editors that have shared our love of DC and we can uh, and love to post positive stuff about it. We're always looking for for new blood uh, and if you're interested please send a message not to the YouTube channel but to the Facebook page itself and uh, and please feel free to share and like or dislike this video below and um, and I've got to come up with an ending to this as well. Uh, well, here's DC. I don't Maybe you can think of an idea for us. Okay, see you later.